long night. You guys must be really sick of this shit at this point. Well, what can I do for you? Hi. Hi. Hi, congrats on your win. Thank you. Uh, and with Red Carpet TV. Tell me, what does winning an Emmy mean to you tonight? It's great. It's a great thing, you know. Uh, it's a thing you don't expect to happen when you... I didn't grow up thinking I would get something like this, you know. And um, the show is very important to me and the people that work with me and that I work for and that work for me, I, you know, uh, the, it's a lot. It's not just me, so I'm proud of it. I'm proud of it. I'm happy. Right over here. Yeah. Hey, hey Louie, uh, you mentioned Sarah Baker. Is she going to come back to the show at all? She was... Fantastic. She's so great. Sarah was amazing. And uh, she had the, it was very hard. We had to do it all in this one take, this long scene that she did, and she just made it real. It's the kind of thing where, you know, when you have a speech, a long speech, to make it sound like a speech hurts it. So you try to make it sound like a, you're really talking. And she nailed that. And she did it with so much empathy. It's not even really reflective of her life. She's a very confident and happy woman. Uh, but she really, uh, I, I love her, and I was very happy. Uh, to do to that she did that yes oh, over there I guess hi I don't know if it's up to me yes it can be hi hello um so my husband's become obsessed with the idea of a bang bang ah yeah thanks sure. for that yeah sorry <laughs> can you it's explain not good for you no <laughs> can yeah. you explain the history behind that well I was writing the episode uh, and it was the episode was really about the character the uh, Sarah and uh, Vanessa and then I thought about me be, uh, being with my brother Bobby, and it just, I don't know, it just happened. I was writing it. Sometimes when I'm writing, it just sort of comes at me rather than me, you know, I just had him say, let's do a bang bang. And I just kind of knew what that meant right away. I just sort of invented it in a second, in a spur of a moment. And then, uh, then the rest was easy. You eat at two restaurants, you f fill your fat face, and you know, do it all over again. Uh, hey. I don't recommend it though, it's very unhealthy. No one should ever do that. Hey, oh, and I don't know if she'll be back in. I didn't answer your question. I have no idea. I never started writing season five, so I don't know. Yes? Yes? You, you are a comedic powerhouse. What oh, well. do you think oh, that yeah, Robin yeah. Williams gave to your career? Well, he was my friend. I loved Robin very much, and uh, I, I grew up watching him, and, uh, you know, he was somebody who worked so hard at it and was just explosive with energy, and uh, so he was a beacon when I was a kid, you know? And then he reached out to me a few years ago because he loved my show and he just wrote me an email. I didn't know him before and said that he really loved it. And then we met in San Francisco and I went to his house and uh, hung out with him and then we became close. He was on my show and I, uh, uh, he was a big influence on me as a person and comedically, yep. Um, you're so popular, you must have so many fans. Do they ask you for <laughs> strange things? Uh, I don't know. I don't talk to them much. I just sort of I stay home, and I try to hide a lot. I'm not great at the be, having being a person who has fa fans. That's a weird thing. When you meet somebody who's a big fan, it's a weird moment. It's just awkward and strange. Yes, sir. Last question. Are you All going right. to have Ron Lynch on the show? You know, I really should, right? You know who he is? Ron Lynch is a, uh, a, a comedian who, when I was starting in Boston, um, I, 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 he ran a really weird show called The Comedy Clubhouse, and he was just uh, a very inventive and wonderful act. He's still around today. He has a show every uh, Saturday, I think, at the Steve Allen Theater, uh, and he just does the strangest, most interesting, and there's nobody like him. Anyway, he took a shot at me. I'd never even been on stage. And I just begged him to put me on stage, and he started letting me be on stage and gave me uh, the opportunity and the confidence to be kind of a stand-up comedian. So I owe my uh, career to that dude. Thanks for asking. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitFix on Twitter or visit HitFix.com.